Hey, trucked up guys and gals, there are five things with the F-150 Lightning when it comes to towing that are absolutely fantastic. And each one of them makes this truck not only capable as a short to mid distance towing machine, but one that is incredibly easy to operate and highly versatile. So let's not waste any time and get totally trucked up. You love trucks, all trucks, you haul and tow, Snow wheel and off road. Take the kiddies to softball practice and your sweetie to lover's lookout. Mm. This channel is all about how the truck is changing, but not the lifestyle. We're loaded up, kitted out, and ready to roam. That's a fact. But are we ready for the future? Welcome to Trucked Up EVs. At the end of this video, we'll go over some compelling changes that we're seeing out there that makes doing fun truck towing things like camping, bringing the boat to the lake, and carting your toy hauler along for fun a lot easier in an electric truck than ever before, so stick around for that. Cameras and sensors. The first thing I noticed when I picked up my F-150 Lightning after buying it was the fantastic sensors and cameras. Sure, a lot of vehicles today have the same, but Ford did a great job of integrating all these assets into an electric truck package that just makes everything easier. When it comes to towing, there are a couple of them that really shine. Three, actually. But one is not part of the truck. I'll get to that. The first is, of course, the backup camera and the adjacent 360-degree view. Man, these make my life so much easier than when I had my Ranger which had none of these features. Another view option I love is the one I mentioned that doesn't exist. Well, that's the dedicated auxiliary button to feed your trailer cameras to the same screen. So this is there for all those trailer cameras that already exist on your unit, or you wish to hook them up. So let's say you got a toy trailer and you wanna have something in the back, you can hook it way at the end, run it through the auxiliary and boom, there it is on your screen. The last is by far the best, however, which is the hitch camera, making life a heck of a lot easier in getting things lined up perfectly. Hitch assist. Well, let's go outside for this one. So one of the coolest features that we've got inside the F-150 Lightning, actually exists in a lot of the F-150s, but I absolutely love it. It's just some features with the Pro Trailer on board that this has. Little button right over here, Pro Trailer. There's two things you can do with it. Right now, we're gonna demonstrate the Trailer Hitch Assist. This is really easy. If you're not you know, proficient in doing a lot of hitch alignment and towing, even for those who are pros at it, this is a nice little add-on to have, but it just makes the whole process easier. So all we do to start, we're going to simply push the Pro Trailer button like that, and on our screen comes up these indicators basically ask us is a trailer connected and there is no trailer connected so we just click no so we're just waiting for that to happen so now we're going to move the vehicle so that the trailer coupler is inside that target right there so we're going to just put it in reverse and as we back up we're looking to try to get that little spot lined up inside there and then once we do it's going to identify that we have so we're going to keep going and we're just going to try to get it in that little target area, our coupler. All right, and then once it finds it, which is right about there, it's going to just kind of hone in on it here and it's going to say, is that it? We're going to stop indicating that that to continue with this shift to neutral. What we're going to do now is we're going to press and hold this button right here. All we're going to do is hold it and it's going to drive itself until we are ready to hook up. Here goes. I'm doing nothing here, no brakes, no steering. The truck is doing all the work and it's going to that hitch and it's going to give us a little red line indicator up on there that if we go beyond it we want to stop. Is it appropriate? Do I have Let's pause the system? Make sure that the trailer coupler is half an inch to three inches higher. I have done that than the hitch ball because we don't want to run into it so it is appropriate. So it says press and hold to resume and off we go again and it's going to bring us right over to that hitch here we go if it goes beyond the red line we're going to lift our finger but there we go alignment complete 
it's done its little job. Let's go see how it did. Well, that's pretty darn good. So that was all done by the truck. Look at that. So I can basically drop it right down. There's my clearance. That's a nice little feature to have. Pro Trailer Assist. Next is yet another big plus in owning the Pro Trailer Package on the Lightning. I love that I have this. I'm not the most talented truck guy when it comes to parking. Some big ass 30 foot long behemoth. So any help for a dumbass like me is really appreciated. Uh, you know, you got to get experience at these things and it takes a long time. People take freaking courses on how to park these darn things. So having these systems sure helps a lot. This allows the driver to control the trailer with the pro trailer turn knob and does so as if you were driving forward. So it doesn't do the brain scramble thing on you. Basically, right is right and left is left. The camera tracks the trailer while you back up and guide it. All you do beforehand is you just enter a few measurements into the system, you calibrate the trailer, then rotate the knob in the direction you want the trailer to go while the system controls the steering wheel. But it gets better. Max Trailer Tow Package Towing thousands of pounds up a steep hill puts a massive amount of strain on any truck. And one thing internal combustion engine trucks have suffered from in the past is overheating. This is no different for an EV. It's not some kind of miracle truck. So what Ford did was offer a max trailer tow package. My base trim standard range XLT should only have a maximum towing capacity of around 5,000 pounds. But because I have the max trailer tow package, that is boosted to 7,700 pounds by increasing battery and motor cooling capacities. I also have a trailer brake controller right from the center console, so I can apply a greater amount of braking force to the trailer when I need it. Hill tow and regen. But this brings me to my absolute favorite, man. Okay, I'm towing. It's a truck. Okay, but this thing's an EV, people. I can't even feel a trailer when I'm towing. The acceleration doesn't lag in the slightest uphill. And I can merge on any highway as if I was pulling like a Hot Wheels. As if I was pulling Pee Wee Herman. As if I was pulling a, a baby carriage. As if I was pulling my fly up. Pure freaking torque, baby. But here's the super bonus. Once you make it up that mountain pass and you look at all those electrons that have vanished thinking, I'm never going to make it. And that extra trailer weight is now pushing you downhill. And in an EV, you know what that means. You now own a fuel generating turbine on steroids. It's, it's like a freaking back to the future banana peel eating fusion factory. That power that is regained is just shocking. I, I couldn't believe it, nothing moved. I just I kept driving and driving and driving and it just stayed. What's even better is that if you are taking a trip from a higher elevation zone to a lower one, your trip going down uses almost no electrons. I drove from the top of a place called Enterprise Pass in the Kootenays to the city of Castlegar, a distance of over 80 kilometers or 50 miles. But my vehicle only showed that I used 14 kilometers or eight and a half miles of range for the entire trip. All we ever hear about is crappy range and how these things could never be used for towing and they're just floofy trucks. Well, I'm here to tell you from first-hand experience that my little base range XLT Lightning did just fine, thank you very much. And you can watch that video right here. Sure, there's more planning involved. And range is certainly a problem in some cases. I did a video on five things that I hate about towing with the Lightning. You can watch that little puppy right here. But there's a big point that many are overlooking in 2024. And here it is. Many marinas, camping and RV sites, overlanding waypoints, and major attractions throughout North America, both in Canada and the US, 
have at the minimum 30 amp outlets available. Think about that for a minute. If you're hauling with a diesel or gas truck, you can't fuel up while parked at the campsite or at the venue. And in most cases, piles of people are running generators all day long, propane or gas, to boost all their holiday toys and their five-star RV amenities. Imagine if all of that went away. The outright haters will tell you otherwise, but common sense truck folk even those who have no intention of ever buying an EV truck get that there is some serious value in EV truck towing for certain trips. And on that note, I want to hear all about your own personal adventures. If you happen to own any kind of electric truck and have used it to tow short or long haul and to share your experiences in the comments below, I'm going to come back to them because I think it's important because I see it all the time. I keep hearing about how these things don't tow. And as I'm driving down the highway and through the mountains, I keep getting passed by electric trucks doing exactly that. And if you would like to see an EV truck in action on the road doing crazy stuff like this in the coming months, please hit the like and subscribe button and ring that bell notification icon so you don't miss an episode and keep the YouTube algorithm all cheery. Thank you again for watching.